Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Path Sala. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add a date time picker inside a bootstrap module pop-up. So here you can see the demo what we are going to build. I will have a button and on click of button a model pop-up will be displayed and there you can see the calendar icon inside the model. If you click on that icon, you can see the date time picker. So without delaying, let's get started. I have a plain index.html file and I have saved few plugins in my notepad which will be required while working on this model. I'll just copy these plugins and add inside my hate tag. I will provide these plugins in the description below. You can just copy it in your file. Now let's start coding. In the body tag, first we will be creating the button. For that we'll give the button then we'll add the class button button info and we'll give button that is medium sized button type is equals to button and we'll give the text register. Let's check in the browser so you can see that the button is appearing on the page. Next we'll give some spacing on the top to the button info. So I'll just give margin top 20px. After that, we'll start creating the model pop-up. We'll create a div and we'll give the class model to it. I'll give the ID as my model. Then I'll add one more class fade and I'll give the role as dialog. Inside that, we'll create another div with class model dialog. Then we'll create a div with class model content. And then inside the content, we'll keep the model header. Header will contain two parts title and the close button. So, first we'll give the button with class close. Then we'll give the h4 tag with class model title and we'll give the text as registration form. Now in order to display the model for the main button we'll give data toggle is equals to model. Then data target is equals we have to give the id name of our model that is my model with a hashtag. Now if you check on the browser, you can see that on click of button, we are getting the model pop-up with registration form title and a close button. Now on click of that close icon, we want to close the model pop-up. So for that, we'll give data dismiss is equals to model. Let's add some background color to the model header. I'll give the same color as the button and the text as white. We are getting this background color. So we'll create another div with class model body. And we'll create a registration form. So I'll just give form tag. And inside the form tag, I'll create a div with class form group. Inside the form group, first we'll create a label for name. And input tag with class name form control and type is equals to text. So you can see the name and the input text. Similarly, we'll create another form group having label email and the input type as email.
Now in the next form group we will be adding the date time picker. So after creating the label for date, we will create a div with class input group. And we'll give an ID to that input group as date type picker. Inside that div, we'll create an input tag with class form control. Type is equals to text. So if you see in the browser, now it is looking like this. Next, we'll create a span with class input group add on. And inside that span, we'll add the clip icon. So again, we'll give span, clip icon, clip icon, calendar. Now, if you check on the browser, you can see input date with calendar icon. Next, let us make this calendar work. For that, we'll create a script tag with type is equals to text JavaScript. And inside that, we'll give the jQuery code first dollar function. Then after that, we'll give dollar the ID of the div that is date time picker. Don't forget to add the hashtag. Dot date time picker function. Now, if you check on the browser. And click on the icon, you can see the date time picker appearing. One thing is missing in the model that is the footer. As we all know, that the model contains the header, body, and the footer. So we'll create a div with class model footer. And inside that, we'll give two buttons one submit and the another one close. For the submit button, We'll give the class button primary. And for the close button, we'll give the class button button danger. So now we have got our buttons. One more thing which I want to add to the close button is the data dismiss is equals to model which will close the model on click of that button. So now our form is completed. Now let's test the final one. Click on the button, give some name, email, click on the icon, get time because visible. So guys, we have completed this tutorial. Please let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And do let me know if this helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.